to the audio book of New Social Studies, Grade 10. Unit 2, Lesson 1, page number 40. Sustainable Development Introduction Sustainable development means the economic development conducted without depleting natural resources. It has been defined in many ways, but the most frequently quoted definition is taken from Our Common Future, a report from Brundtland Commission. Spelling of Brundtland is B-R-U-N-D-T-L-A-N-D, Brundtland Commission. The United Nations organized an international conference in Stockholm, Sweden from June 5th to 16th in 1972 AD. It was the UN's first major conference on international environmental issues. The conference was called the first United Nations Conference on the Human Environment, UNCHE. This conference was attended by world's leaders and top environmental scientists. In 1975, based on UNCHE outcome and recommendations, United Nations Environment Program, UNEP, a new international organization was established. UN General Assembly passed a resolution in 1983 to establish the World Commission on Environment and Development, WCED. Gro Harlem Brundtland, then the Prime Minister of Norway, was appointed as the chairperson of this commission in December 1983. Thus, this commission is commonly known as Brundtland Commission. Its mandate was to formulate a global agenda for change. It released a report called Our Common Future, also known as Brundtland Report, in October 1987-80. This document defined the meaning of sustainable development as development that meets the needs of the present without compromising the ability of future generations to meet their own needs. Sustainable Development for Nepal According to Sustainable Development Agenda for Nepal 2003, Sustainable Development for Nepal has been defined as the overarching uh, goal of sustainable development in Nepal is to expedite a process that reduces poverty and provides to its citizen and successive generation not just and basic means of livelihood, but also the broadest of opportunity in the social, economic, political cultural and ecological aspects of their life. Thus, sustainable development refers to such a development that maintains balance between environment and development, provides continuous benefits and cares about the, about the bearing capacity of the earth. Similarly, it is the long-term development without degrading environment. Objective of sustainable development. A. To help in the poverty alleviation. B. To conserve the environment effectively. C. To use resources and means carefully. D. To maintain social justice in the sectors of disability, women, physically impaired, etc. E. To attain the high, stable and sustainable economic growth. And F. To gain human development and progress. Features of Sustainable Development A. It helps in the sustainable management of resources and means. B. It helps to ensure a bright future for the future generation. C. It focuses for the environment conservation. D. It helps in the acquisition, mobilization and conservation of resources and means. F. E. It pays attention in justifiable distribution of resources and means. F. It checks, the rec uh, it checks the trend of excessive use of resources. G. It helps to achieve higher and wider economic growth. And H. It gives priority in the use and promotion of resources that can be recycled, reused and renewed. Dimensions of Sustainable Development There are many dimensions of sustainable development. It is concerned with social, cultural, economic and humanitarian dimensions. According to UNESCO, there are four dimensions of sustainable development. They are social, economic, natural and political dimensions. 
Socio-cultural dimension depicts the relationship of human community, conservation of cultural heritages, and establishment of good cultures, etc. Activities, page number 42. 1. Search the efforts made for the sustainable development in Nepal and present in class. 2. Present a plan to run any one development work ongoing in your community according to the concept of sustainable development. 3. There may be some ongoing projects in your community which lacks the concept of sustainable development. Observe them and identify the areas that needs to be reformed. Exercise. Very short answer questions. 1. What is sustainable development? 2. What are the four dimensions of sustainable development according to UNESCO? 3. When and which commissions brought the concept of sustainable development? Short answer questions. 1. What are the things to be considered for the sustainable development? 2. Write the advantages of sustainable development. 3. Mention the objectives of sustainable development in points. 4. What are the aspects to be considered while running the projects according to the concept of sustainable development? 5. What should Nepal do for the sustainable development? 6. Prepare a dialogue on the topic need of sustainable development. 7. What are the problems and challenges of implementation of sustainable development in Nepal? Right points. 8. Unmanaged development is destruction. Discuss in groups on this statement and clarify it with example. Community work. Select a small development project running in your community. Prepare a draft of plan to run that project according to the concept of sustainable development. Write name of the project, place, objective, status of public participation, estimated expenditure, duration of the project, number of beneficiaries, possible alternative no alternatives not to hamper the environment. End of unit 2, lesson number 1. podcast is dedicated to visually impaired students so if you know anybody who needs this book um, to listen and learn please share the link and also please subscribe the channel thank you and all the best